Okay. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Ge Xiaoliang from Delft University of Technology. So the topic I will introduce today is about a CMOS image sensor which nearly image gains the color and optimize the column amplifier. But nowadays, an increasing requirement for better visualization under the certain staff conditions calls for the development of the low light level image sensor. And such kind of image sensor can be used in a variety of applications. For example, the medical imaging, the scientific imaging, night vision, and astronomy imaging. But in order to do such kind of image sensor, there are several potential technology available. For example, the silicon photomultiplier, the previous speaker already introduced it, the EMTCD, the SPAD, and the CMOS image sensor technology. So compared with other kinds of technology, the CMOS image sensor technology shows an advantage of the more effective power and cost, and it could provide a high spatial resolution and high level integration. But it suffers from a problem of the poor noise performance. So the main task of our work is to lower the noise level of the CMOS image sensor as low as possible and improve the noise performance. So this is this picture shows the typical CMOS image sensor architecture. And from this figure, we can find several dominant noise contributors in the CMOS image sensor. The first one is a pixel array, which used to sense the light. And after that is the analog signal chain, and together with its Gaussian voltage reference and supply generator. And in this work, we will mainly deal with the noise problem with a pixel array and analog signal chain. And this figure shows the pixel a uh, pixel structure in the CMOS image sensor. And it uses the standard CIS process, and the photon sensing element is the pin photo doubt, and the readout circuits in the pixel level are implemented with the MOS transistor. And in order to reduce the noise level of the pixel, there is an alternative way to implement the pixel, to implement the readout circuit in the pixel. That is, we use the PMOS transistor as the source roller in each pixel, and because it is well known that the PMOS transistor uh, shows a lower flicker noise and uh, random telegraph signal noise than the MMOS. However, compared with the MMOS source roller based pixel, the conventional PMOS source roller based pixel have a problem of the voltage gain degradation and it will cause the, the conversion factor decreasing. In some of our knowledge, we know that the gain of the source roller is equal to the intrinsic transconductance divided by the intrinsic transconductance plus the body effect transconductance. And the body effect transconductance is increased with a higher doping concentration and also a lower body source voltage. And from the pixel circuit, we found that for the PMOS source roller, the source body voltage is equal to the supply voltage uh, minus the pixel voltage plus the VGS of the PMOS transistor. And for the MOS source roller, the, the source body voltage is equal to the pixel voltage minus the VGS and minus the ground voltage. So we found that for the PMOS transistor in the pixel, the source body voltage is smaller than the MOS one, and it will lead to a larger body effect transconductance. And the result is it shows a much smaller gain than unity. So from our simulation, the PMOS the total gain is around 0.65, and for the MOS it's around 0.8. And this figure shows the relationship between the input voltage and the gain. Because in the pixel, um, the voltage range is not from zero to the supply, but from the pink voltage to the supply. So as the input voltage increasing, 
for the PMOS transistor, the gain is decreased. So, in order to solve this problem, we change another um, connection for the PMOS for solar based pixel. That is, we directly connected the bulk terminal to the salt terminal. Because this is the PMOS transistor, they didn't share, they don't share the same substrate. So we can introduce a separated and well. We can introduce a separated then well. And with this kind of connection, the source body voltage is equal to zero and the GMB is approached zero. And from the simulation, the gain is approached unity. And another part of the noise contributor is come from the column and analog signal chain. So the, uh, we usually use the switch capacitor CDS amplifier as the analog signal chain. And this CDS amplifier on one thing is to amplify the pixel signal. And on the other side is to do the CDS, to do the correlated double sampling, to cancel the KT over C noise and to reduce the flicker noise. So the design target for this amplifier is to achieve an improver noise level that is small enough compared to the pixel's output noise. So for this column amplifier, there are two noise sources, and one is from the intrinsic noise generated by transistors. For example, the thermal noise, the blinker noise, and RTS noise. And the other is for the interference noise, because nowadays almost all the image sensor are, are integrate the ATD converter and the digital signal processor on the image sensor. So this noisy digital circuit will impact the noise of the analog part from the supply and ground line. So any noise that appears on the supply and ground line is it manifest is manifest as the raw noise. So in order to solve this problem, we locally generate a ground rail with a column level low dropout regulator for each column amplifier. So on the right side of the figure is a conventional OCA. And the input transistor is directly connected to the ground. So any noise appears on the ground will manifest at the output. So we introduce an LDO at each column, and this LDO is a fluid or solar structure. So it can provide a sufficient heat gain and to provide a sufficient PSR to the ground. And from our simulation, we found that the PSR to the ground is around 40 dB, and compared with the conventional one, it's improved by 20 dB. So in order to validate our um, proposed design, we implement one test chip. And we use the 180 nanometer remote emission the process. And the pixel array are, are divided into two parts for the reference pixel array, and the other is a proposed pixel array. And each pixel size is 11 by 11 micrometer. And the column and fire gain settings are from 1 to 16. So this figure shows the measured conversion factor. For the reference pixel with the body effect, the conversion gain multiplier the gain of the cell solar is equal to 71 microvolt per electron. And for the proposed pixel without the body effect, the conversion gain <coughs> multiplier the gain of the cell solar is around 120 microvolt per electron. So without the body effect, conversion factor at pixel level is increased by around uh, 40 percentage. And this figure shows the measured noise result. And from this figure, we found that when the gate setting is equal to one or two, the proposed pixel structure increases the input of the noise by 10 percentage. And when the gain setting is equal to 16, the input of the noise can achieve 1.1 electrons. 
So in conclusion, uh, in this talk, we uh, implement one prototype most emission detector chip, and we implement a nearly unique the most basis of solar pixel without the body effect, and also implement and optimize the column amplifier with local ground rail regulator. And after the fabrication, we do the electrical characterization. And the proposed pixel improves the conversion factor by 40 percent, and the proposed pixel reduces the input river noise by 10 percent, which gains equal to one or two. And it uh, achieves an input river noise of 1.1 electrons, which gains equal to 60. So that's all about the presentation. Thank you very much.